Hey guys, made it. Alright. I uh, just want to let y'all know I was able to, believe it or not, I was able to find some of those uh, mantles and everything for the Coleman lanterns and my stash and everything I didn't realize. So, got them put on and got a little bit of fuel put in there. So, let's see if we can get this thing operational. So, first thing you got to do, of course, I got to make sure I got this turned off. But with these brand new ones, you got to burn them first. You got to go to an ash. So it's real easy. It's just getting on the very bottom and lighting them up. We're going to sit there and burn. They're going to get smaller. No big deal. Because that's exactly what's supposed to happen. This is all you got to do. They are a little bit of a pain in the you know what to get burnt at first. But whatever you do, do not touch them after that. Of course, make sure you've got this you know, uh, valve on. But you do have to burn them. That's all there is to it. So like I said, do not, once they are, once you get them, don't touch them because they're going to ash. So all you got to do is sit there and wait for them to totally burn out. Which looks like they're about done. Alright. Got a little bit more on there. But you see how much smaller they've gotten since they burnt. But like I said, at this point, you don't touch them at all because they're since they are in ash and everything, they will come apart. So now, let's see about getting this thing lit. Why well, got got a little bit of fuel and didn't put a lot in there? Why well, got the tank pressurized? So. We've already had this go around, and you want this lever pointing down to light. So let's see if we can get it lit. It's going to take a while to get that fuel and everything to come up. That wasn't all that hard to do. I got that low. Let's pressurize it some more. Got to run that, get that generator all clean. That's looking good too. There's that part there. You put the top on it. So once you get that on there, you don't want to be touching it because that's going to be super hot. There must be some trash and everything in there. Because all I'm doing, I'm hearing it, how it's running and everything. I got plenty of pressure in it. So the 
there must be some trash still down the bottom. working good. I do not think it will, this one was going to be easy to salvage. As a matter of fact, I don't know how long it's been sitting outside. Turn this light out, that way you can see how much light it actually does give off. It's giving off quite a bit of light. Now, like I said, this one here, these are designed to hang up. That way, it shines the light and everything down. Got to be careful, you know, holding it and everything. But just all you got to do, you know, I'm just running with it cleaning that generator and everything out. That's why you see it going dim. But it could be some trash still down inside the, the font there. Um, which that's no big deal. That's why you got to clean that generator out and everything. It seems to be working good. So now I've got another good running 228 Coleman lantern. I don't see any fuel leaking on it, which is good. So I'm going to turn this other light back on. And of course, when, you, when you're done running it, it just turn the valve back in. And what you do is you shut the fuel and everything off. It'll sit there and run till what fuel there is up in there, the vapors and everything. Usually run for, you know, still keep burning for about a minute or two after you shut the fuel and everything off. So, yeah. And that's the same globe and everything. I went and cleaned it all up. As you can see, it's still trying to burn off the fuel and everything that's up inside there. I do need to get that one little screw put in um, on there, which is no big deal. But yeah, there you go. Got another operational 228 Coleman lantern. Really didn't take that much to get it fixed. I thought it was going to take more. Um, I'm not really going to be worried about cleaning it up. Um, but the only thing I will do is I'll get a different uh, for the pump and everything on this cap. It doesn't have a, a hole in it to add the oil. So I've got, I think, a couple extras. You know, Or I may just see about getting one that's got that or if I can. Maybe see about drawing a small little hole in it because it'd be a pain in the, you know what, keep the, taking that thing off and, you know, putting oil down in there. But, yeah. So, so far, the only thing I've had to replace was the pump cup itself. And, yeah, that's, that's the shape it's in. It's totally cracked and everything. It, that's not usable. I had an extra one laying around. I bought some. But there you go. So there's a Coleman 228 lantern from, uh, looks like, let's say September 1957. Operational. All right, leave me a comment. Don't forget to um, give me a thumbs up. 
Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and hit that bell. That way you know when I got another video out um, or go live. So y'all have a good weekend.